who just realized how to do something um, in a much easier way on Clip Studio Paint when it comes to animation. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. I'm working on a very exciting animation that I'm very much looking forward to showing you guys in the future. It's going to be a while, but there was something I realized. I'm not sure if this was in a new update or I've just never really found it before, but if you go to new and click the animation uh, type, go to drawing size. So what this does is it will extend the canvas outside of the capture area so that you could do things like a moving background in a much easier way. <laughs> I know for me, it was pretty frustrating because I had a sort of other way of doing it, but yeah, I'll just show you guys how this works. So this square is the capture area. Anything you draw in here is going to be in frame. All of this is not. So you can just throw whatever assets you want in this area. So give an example here. I'm just going to do a wave. So here's a practical way of using this effect. You go to the keyframe button, you click this little button that adds the keyframe there, scoot to the end of where you want to add another and the movement, click it again, and sorry, it takes a second. There you go. This way you can move assets in and out of the framing uh, without having to change the canvas size and, per and accidentally corrupt the file. That is something that has happened sometimes and it's been really annoying to deal with. Um, but if you don't have this option, then I will show you the old way I used to do it, um, which I found effective. It was just, it kind of messed with the uh, exporting side of things, but I made it work eventually. So you just get like this normal blank timeline and you go to change canvas size and if you're wanting to just add um, some space at the top or space at the top you would do this you would click the reference point from the bottom and do that so this would allow you to have like a person who falls out of frame fall into frame without having to risk the drawing getting cut because that happens whenever you are moving things in and out of frame sometimes the computer will think this doesn't matter anymore so you don't need it and it'll just cut it where it uh, first enters and that can be really annoying so yeah but just to reiterate so with this original one it's very helpful and I'll just show you what it looks like real quick. See right here? Perfect! Um, so yeah, that was something I discovered the other day and I low-key was a bit frustrated whenever I found that out because I had been doing it this way for so long and even though this way does work, this one is it just it's just much easier and I'm really happy that they have um, this as a part of the program. Clip! Studio Paint has its many holdbacks, especially in the pro version, which I have, where you can only do 25 frames per timeline, but I make it work, and I hope to release some more tutorials on how to keep making it work and be able to make some really neat projects, um, even with these uh, limitations. There's a lot of exciting things, and I'm very excited to share with you guys. But until then, I shall see you in the next one.